Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am really excited about today's drive. We are going to photograph the only 1911 Selden Type 40R in existence in the world. An original 1911 Selden. Uh, there was a replica made of this car, but this is the original one, or the only one known in existence. Very rare car, really excited to photograph this, and really excited to show it to you. So let's go for a ride and let's go check this car out. So, Dave, tell me, tell me a little bit about this car. What makes this car so incredibly unique? It's a big car. It's 125-inch wheelbase. 125-inch wheelbase. Yes. Okay. It's about either 40 or 48 horsepower. Gotcha. It's got a four-cylinder Continental engine with double ignition. There's two plugs for each cylinder. Okay. Um, and this is the only Roadster in the world, is that correct? Well, there was a car that was copied from mine. Gotcha. All right. So but a clone, but this is the original. That's correct. Okay. And uh, can we take a peek underneath the hood and kind of see this incredible engine? Wow, that is just not something you see every day. And it looks like the steering, uh, this is exposed the, gear. That's the yeah. steering. Okay. This is a water pump. Gotcha. This is a magneto. And this is a timer. Okay. And so uh, the magneto kind of serves a, like, uh, like today's coil, essentially. Is that correct? It has coils. It also has the magneto. Okay. The idea is you started it on the coil, uh, the buzz coil, like a Model T Ford. Okay. And then you switched it to the Magneto, and you didn't waste your battery. Gotcha. Okay. And then uh, I noticed that these are not your typical headlights. These are gas-powered. Is that correct? They're kerosene. Kerosene. Wow. And they're called side lights. All righty. So what about, uh, what about this horn? Tell me about the horn. It, it looks like. It come on the car, but it's correct. It's a nice big horn for the size of the car. All right. And it looks like it's uh, manually powered. It is manually okay. powered. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So don't have to worry about scaring anybody any anytime uh, soon. So then uh, about the headlights then, are these uh, powered by the Magneto? No, they are acetylene. Okay. Acetylene gas. All right. And in this, the 
Come on. Oh, wow. This is an air tank. It holds 3,000 pounds. This is a acetylene ga gas. Okay. They had them filled at the manufacturer, and, or they had places in every city. Uh-huh. Wow. And that ran the headlights. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Now these tires, I happen to notice that these uh, these are these are Firestone tires, but I happen to notice the size, 34 inch. Yes. Wow. I mean that's uh, that's just an incredibly tall tire. Um, are the spokes wooden or steel? No, they are wooden. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. And then uh, so. Looks like it seats three, right? We got two well, here. It, it, this is a mother-in-law seat. A mother-in-law seat. Okay, so kind of like uh, Granny and the clan and. Uh... It could be. <laughs> All righty. The factory said that this could be used for two different things. Okay. The mother-in-law seat, or you could put luggage on it. Gotcha. And that's what these strap loops are for. Right here. Right. So the seat is detachable then. Yes, it is. If you wanted to put uh, luggage on the back. It come off in a five minutes. Okay. Now, I noticed that uh, for as old as this car is, it's actually not chain driven. It's uh, got a uh, differential. It does. And uh, that's pretty, pretty ahead of its time, isn't it? Well, some did back then and some didn't. Okay. Um, now, how long have you had this car? I've had it since 1991. It came to me unassembled and unrestored. Okay, so you did the restoration. I did. All righty. And uh, a fine restoration that you did, indeed. The upholstery is original upholstery. It's 112 years old. Wow, that's incredible. The uh, seat bottoms have been redone. Now, is there a lot of wood in this car? Not a great deal. Okay. They got away from that. So this is what you would call a brass error car. It is. Is that correct? It is. Now, um... Let me open the other side. Sure. Dave, before we get back on the other side of the hood, could you tell me about the levers here on the uh, steering wheel? The bottom one is gas. It runs the gas feed. Okay. And this is to advance or retard the spark. Gotcha. So there is no gas pedal on this car. There is, it's right there. Okay, all right, so you can it, it, you control can, it both ways. That's correct. All righty, that's uh, kind of a, kind of like ahead of its time cruise control, if you will. So we're kind of under the hood, and um, it looks like this is a, um, at first glance, you'd think that this is an eight-cylinder, but it's really not, is it? It's a four-cylinder. With dual spark plugs? Yes. And what's the purpose of the dual spark plugs? This one runs on the coil, and the coil box is behind the dash. Okay. And it has a battery. All right. When that's hooked up... It makes the coils buzz, and that's what it starts on. 
as soon as it starts they suggest moving it to magneto and you took a picture of that on the other side correct and that will run the car all righty so i noticed that these plugs say edison on them as in like thomas edison it is and that's just the brand name okay of those particular spark plugs wow that's pretty amazing but they do fit so i'm assuming that down here we're looking at the exhaust <laughs> that's the exhaust okay the uh yeah it exhaust the intake is this that right there okay and the carburetor is way down there it's oh. going to bring gas all the way up into the cylinders wow but it has a lot of compression this is how you can prime it okay and what do you mean by prime you can put gas in here okay when it's like that and then open it and the gas will go into the cylinder all right so it looks like and help it start. you prime all four cylinders you can individually it has okay. a lot of compression. Wow, and a lot of work to get it started. This is not... Well, it uh, is. For me, I, I can't flip it over. Sure. Not like I do my 11. Now, um, what's this? Uh, this a crank start? It is. Okay. Wow. It is. I made that on my lathe. Okay. Out of some exotic wood. This is just absolutely a beautiful car in every sense of the word. Certainly not something you see every day. There are six Seldons known, but this is the only Varsity Roadster other than the one that was copied from this. Okay. Now you said a guy copied this car. He did he come down and actually uh, do all the measurements necessary to do that, and yes. he did all the sheet uh, sheet metal no work. Body. He had no body. And did he manage to find a, an actual motor and frame? He had that. It was somebody took the body off to use it in an orchard. Okay. And uh, he came to my house. It was quite a way for him nine hours wow he lived way up in New York and he came twice and I took a lot of pictures for him and he he copied it did you get a chance to see it when it was done yes and I heard it one I heard that that copy won a lot of awards it did uh-huh an awful lot quite amazing Dave, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It. I'll get you a picture of that. Other car.
Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I enjoyed seeing that car and interviewing Dave and getting a chance to talk with him about an extremely rare car that since the time of me photographing it and creating the video, he's already sold the car. And he had a potential buyer lined up. And so I had a very short window to be able to photograph that car and create that video. So I'm really fortunate that I was able to do that. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Press this button right over here and you can subscribe to our channel. And if you're really interested in seeing another video, click that button right over there. And be blessed. Have a wonderful day.